Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial and in installing Unity 3D. This is just going to be a quick tutorial, nothing too fancy here, of how about what Unity is and what it takes to get Unity 3D up and running. All right, so if you look at the screen right here, we're actually at Unity 3D's website, and so you might ask, what is Unity? Well, Unity essentially is a game engine that can publish to a variety of different game platforms or platforms in general. And uh, it's, it's, it's a really great tool to make, you know, high impact games for, you know, a pretty cheap cost. And the, the version we're going to be using and working with is the free version because, you know, if you're just learning this, why not get the free version and work with that? If you're an advanced user of Unity, of course, uh, you know, you're probably not watching this tutorial, but, you know, you've probably already purchased Unity because you've realized that it's absolutely a powerhouse of a... Um, 3D game engine. So, again, Unity, and, and the beauty about it, if you see on screen it says Unity Android, you can publish, we're going to go to this Unity link, so you can publish Unity to a variety of different platforms, to a web player, which is good because, um, you know, Flash uses Flash-based web player, um, PC, Mac standalone versions. You, know, you got your iPhone operating system, Android, Xbox 360, PS3, and Wii as well. I'm pretty sure it does Wii too. It just doesn't say on here. Um, yeah, Nintendo Wii. There we go. So it's it's a pretty robust program. And again, the free version isn't like a watered down version like you get with a lot of the other 3D game engines where you're missing pieces and parts. It's pretty solid for the price of free. So let's go ahead and get this thing started and uh, installed so we can start playing with it. So what you're going to do is you're just going to come to this download button in the top right corner, hit download, and of course it uh, it's asking me, it's telling me I'm going to be taking the Mac OS X version. If you're on a PC, you'll be getting that. Hit download Unity 3.0, and it's going to ask me down here. I'm going to go ahead and discard this, but you're going to want to save this out to wherever you know your file saving system is because you know th this is going to save the file to your computer. I save mine to my desktop. I'm going to discard it because I've already downloaded this just for the sake of time. Unity this is going to take a little bit because Unity 3D is a pretty large program and being that it's a large program, it takes a little while to download off the internet. So if I come over here, I see we are, I already have this on my desktop. So we're going to expand this disk image it's the DMG and let me just minimize this I don't need this window open anymore now it's going to come to our package installer just give it a double click alright while we're waiting on this it takes a second it's going to determine if it can be run let's hit continue software license agreement it's always good to read that continue as well agree to the terms and now it's going to ask you where do you want to install this. We want to install it on our Mac hard drive. Hit continue. And there we go. Hit the install button. You can change the location if you wanted to, but this is going to be the default applications. And again, it's going to want your user administrator password. So right now at this point, this takes a little bit to install, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. And once this is done installing, well, I'll meet back up with you guys. Alright, so now it is done installing, it's going to come to the installation was successful window. Just hit close, it's also going to pop open your finder and put you right into the program under your applications. Again, this is installed under your applications, Unity folder, and then Unity. So let's go ahead and launch this. All right, so here we are. Unity is now fired up and ready to rock and roll. So you will notice that you know you get this little welcome to Unity screen gives you some pointers to some video tutorials, Unity basics. But you can watch all those, or you can listen to me explain it. Either or. Let's go ahead and close this out. When you fire up Unity, you see this 3D world called Boot Camp. If I come down here. This is just a demo that gives you an overview of pretty much what you can do with Unity. Of course, you can go even further with Unity, but uh, this, this is a good starting point to let you see the real features and uh, how realistic it can be. And this is actually just the C game tabs. 
on the game tab, as you can see, it's pretty pretty clear. It's pretty pretty good looking game. Um, so yeah, Unity has a lot to offer. Switch back to scene, and let's just go ahead and back out and zoom out so you can see. There's actually this really really big world going on here that you know the creators of Unity have installed as a default as a default world for you to you know see what's going on and as you see I'm zooming out this this is about all there is to uh, installing unity now that you have it up and running what we're gonna do in the next tutorial we're gonna touch on the interface it's really really important that you get comfortable with navigating the interface and manipulating objects and using your manipulation tools so you feel comfortable and you can start developing really cool stuff and start working with things so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you need more help feel free to drop me a line at YouTube slash user slash Fredricate or visit me at Fredricate.com. Look up my user profile, it's John DJ, and uh, drop me a question on, on my inbox or on my wall, something like that, and uh, you know I'll be happy to help you out and assist you. So, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. We'll see you next time.